This is episode one of Band Stripped. In this case, and in tonight's episode, Artist Stripped. We have Neil Solomon in studio with us, and he's going to play us a few songs. We've reached that time now where we get to listen to an artist or band stripped. Now, when I say stripped, I don't mean they actually stripped. It means their music is stripped, and they're in studio with us, and they're going to play a stripped-down version of some of their classic songs. But if anyone's ever watched VH1 Storytellers, you understand there's always a story behind a song, and every single songwriter has something to say. Neil Solomon is our special guest tonight, and he definitely has a lot to say <laughs> when he's not playing music. So today we get to ask him about his songs and what they're about. Neil, welcome mm. to the Unplug Studio. Thank you, Sylvain. So, what have you chosen for us today? I'm going to start with a song called Can You Hear My Call, which um, I actually initially wrote for one of, there were very many versions of the film Jock of the Bushveld, and um, I did the soundtrack to one of them. And I wrote this song for Jock, Can You Hear My Call? Right. For the dog. Um, but I think... If I remember correctly, the producer didn't use it. So, which I wrote some more words for it. And um, so I kept the essence of the song and what it was about. Right. But, but you can interpret it in quite a few ways. And I've spoken to people and many people have come to me and said to me, oh, that, I think that's about my mom, you know, and things like that. So That's an interesting morphology of songs. Yeah. is that people can make up their own meaning. Absolutely. And when you say, can you hear my call, and you wrote it for Jock of the Bushveld, it's a throwback to his master's voice and the very essence of his master's Absolutely. voice. Absolutely. Ne- that I never thought of. Yeah. And that's what I would yeah. think of. You know? And that's why I don't often, when people say, what's the song about, I say, well, y- keep it the way you have interpreted it, you know? Absolutely. So I don't kind of try and tell people what I, th- I was thinking when I wrote the song. And in what year did you write the song? This is early 90s. Lovely. Yeah. A nice vintage vintage. for our audience as our first song on Band Stripped. This is Neil Solomon with Can You Hear My Call? I call, 
I dream, I scream, I whisper, I call, I call, I call. Can you hear my call? Can you hear my call? Can you hear my call? I'm calling out to you. Neil, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And I swear, every time I listen to you, you sound more and more like a combination of Leonard Cohen <laughs> and Michael Stark. Okay. I hope like that it. when I grow up, it's good for me. Thank I sound you. like you. <laughs> that was amazing. That's an amazing Thank song. Thank you. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's got a very, very deep lyric. And I saw and watched your performance, and you really immersed yourself into it. I did. For those of I you who are listening. I with that song. I don't know. It's. Well, for our listeners, it's a great treat because, you know, we've got you in studio, but this entire Unplugged and whatever Neil's been playing with us will be available on the social media pages because we're recording it. Great. So you'll get to see the man in action and you'll <laughs> get to see what I saw. Um, and thank you, Neil, for that there. Thank you. Um, now, you've obviously written quite a few tracks. I've heard, <coughs> you know, many people talk, whenever I speak to people about Neil Solomon, everyone remembers a different song, to be honest. Um and I remember watching The Passengers when I was a kid. There was a music video. Yeah. Sure. And I was like, well, the South African band, The Passengers, and I was crazy about it. And fascinated because in those days, you know, there were few and far between bands that, uh, sort of, that were coming through with uh, with original videos and original songs mm. and getting regular mm. airplay. There was, a, there was a, a scene, but it was quite limited because of the political times and all that. So, you know, um, there were a few bands, but yeah. Fantastic, but now we got you warmed up. Now, I don't know about that. I would love, to, <laughs> I would love to know what else we could hear from you today. Um, I'm gonna, I'll do a song called Eight Steps to Fly," which is a lyric by um, Allen Ginsberg, one of the 1950s beat poets who right. I really enjoyed their work. There was Jack Kerouac who yeah. wrote "On the Road." There was Allen Ginsberg. Um, Ten Thousand Maniacs did a song called Jack Kerouac. Did they? Yes. Okay. Um, and I can't think of the other the other guy, but and Allen Ginsberg wrote this poem, which I came assembled across in a book of some mixed poetry or something, and um, I took one of the w lines of the poem called eight, eight, which was eight steps to fly. Right. It uh, I can't remember the original name of the poem, and I took st uh, some of those words and turned them into a song, so it's called Eight Steps to Fly. Fantastic. Okay. This is Neil Solomon with Eight Steps to Fly, live on Hot 91.9. Born in this world, you gotta suffer. Everything changes, you got no soul. Try to be gay, ignorant, happy. You got the blues, you eat the jelly roll. There is one way, you take the high road in your big wheel, eight steps you fly. I said, there is one way, you take the high road in your big wheel, eight steps you fly, eight steps you fly. Look at the view, right to horizon, talk like the sun, act like you talk, try to be gay. Ignorant, happy, you got the blues, you eat the jelly roll. There is one way, you take the high road in your big wheel, eight steps you fly. I said, there is one way, you take the high road in your big wheel, eight steps you fly, eight steps you fly. Talk. Talk and cry when you cry. Uh, 
That's a taste of the song. Oh, thank you, Neil. Well, that was a nice short snippet. Beautiful vibe on that song. Thank you. Excellent. Neil, is there anything else you have that you want to play for us? You know, I've been suffering with a little bit of a allergy, so it's a bit difficult to sing. So I think we'll You're gonna leave it at that. If shall that's we okay. allow you to get a breather to go get some water and just relax a little bit? Okay. That was it. That was Neil Solomon unplugged and stripped on Hot 91.9 on SA Music Box with me, the Eskimo writer. Um, I've got a few more questions for Neil before he leaves. Neil. So I've come to your studio over many years. Why do you like Norwood so much? <laughs> uh, that's a funny one. Um, I do love the area, actually, and I moved in there quite a long time ago, but it was uh, that I needed to find a place for the studio uh, because where I was at, at my friends, Otto and Linda, we had to move f from that space, and I drove past that house in Norwood, saw the house and went, Okay, that looks cool. Is there space in there for a studio? And that was that. So, As simple as that? As simple as that. Well, I'm very I'm, glad we made the choice. I'm very glad you made the choice too because I've met many friends and people because of you and being in your studio and in yeah. and around the Norwood area where it se seems to be littered with artists. Absolutely. They're recording like studios, they're actors, they're uh, fine artists, there's musicians, everyone's there. Although you've heard it from Neil, if you're a young musician... Actor, actress, Norwood's the place to be. That's where you get to meet people. Um, by the way, if you don't know Joburg, Norwood is right here in Joburg. So, yes. And it's probably some, has some of the best of Joburg in terms of cuisine and in terms of its nightlife. Uh, Neil, thank you very much. It's been wonderful having you thank on the you show. Thank you so much. Thank you. my so first much. guest. Thank you. And I'm honored to be the first guest on your show. And good and, luck. And if people want to contact you, what, what, what email address can they use to contact you on? Um... Just go onto my website, neilsolomon.co.za. You can also get us on the Liberation website, liberationproject.co.za. Fantastic. So check out Neil's new project. And if you're a young artist or if you're anyone who wants to record, it's a wonderful recording studio and you get the benefit of the talents of Neil Solomon. And all the details are there, yeah. And all the details are on his website. Neil, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I wish you a me. lovely evening. You too. And Drive safely. I will see you soon. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Right, that was Neil on the Unplugged. Um, a wonderful treasure to have, and it's been an absolute privilege having him in the studio with me. Um, Neil and I go way back, and to see him perform just like a meter and a half from me is just a wonderful experience, and I'm glad that I was able to share that with you tonight. And uh, if you get a chance, share this video, spread it, because singer-songwriters and people who have a story to tell, their stories must travel, and it's up to you and I to make sure that they do. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Sabin. Thank you. Okay. Beautiful guitar, beautiful voice. That was Neil Solomon on Artist Band Unplugged here on Hut 91.9. Don't forget you can catch all of this on the YouTube and Facebook page and you can share it, like it. And if you have demos, you can send your demos in to demo at hot919.co.za. We'll see you all next week in Episode 2 of Artist Band Unplugged.